What up, fight fans? Main man, made man, back at it. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. Thought I'd just get on here and do a quick video. I know I'm a little in Colazzo video. I uh, didn't really think much of the fight, to be honest with you. I, I seen it for what it was. It was an exhibition fight. But um, I think uh, in a short, sweet way, I could just say very impressive. Hats off to Keith Thurman in this entire corner. Very impressed with the way Keith Thurman looked in this fight. Uh, you know, he was definitely in there with a the lower class opponent in Luis Colazzo. Um, mainly Thurman dominated the fight. He won every round. Even the round he got caught probably with the one body shot. I, he possibly even won that round, you know. Um, the thing is, it was at the fifth round. Uh, it was a good fight. Like I said before, I love the way Keith Thurman was methodically beating Luis Colazzo, where, like he said, each round he was just taking more and more risks. I mean, the, the punches he was landing, you know, the power is there, looked very good. He was in there with a bigger welterweight. Um, you know, a lot of people are coming, coming, jumping on Thurman about being on his back foot in this fight. I mean, shit, man. I mean, he got the job done. He broke Colazzo down. Colazzo was walking towards Thurman, hands down, not cutting off the ring in a straight line. I mean, not working behind a jab, no head movement whatsoever. Thurman did exactly what he was supposed to do. Step back, get, you know, lure him into a trap and just keep possibly popping him, you know. Um, thought it was a great game plan. So, also, you know, we know Keith Thurman. I don't know how fully healed he is from the Robert Guerrero fight, given the hematoma he suffered in that fight. So, you know, but either way, he looked very impressive in this fight. Like I said, I was very impressed with the recovery, how he even treated the body shot after he got, you know, hit. Because that was a hard shot, liver shot, man. I mean, it happened in the midst of him swinging. He was wide open, all no no kind of blocking there whatsoever. It was a crisp shot. A lot of fighters would have went down to one knee off that shot. So, um, very, very good shot. I was very impressed how he took it and stayed away from Colazzo for most of that round after that. And came out in the next round, the sixth round, just got back on his thing so i'm um, very impressed great win um luis Colazzo seems to be happy with not trying to attain greatness so people are jumping on him about quitting on the stool this guy's just happy with what he is in boxing you know he wants to be the gatekeeper he cool with being the gatekeeper uh he wasn't trying to attain greatness uh in that fight or any other fight possibly prior to it. he has seven losses now um, I think he's just happy with his role in boxing to try to get in there with, you know, guys who are progressing to the next level who, who you know, he'd be, be the fight, a fighter that gets those fights, you know, the, the guy to go through him. So he's happy with that. Some people are. Keith Thurman, who's looking to be great, um, look great in that fight as he should have. So. Uh, hats off to him, though. But, uh, of course, after the fight, was I'm more concerned about what goes on for Keith Thurman afterwards. We see he calling Mayweather out, you know, listening to him in his post-fight conference, seeing him talk a lot about Amir Khan and really adamant about Amir Khan. It just makes no sense how, why you... So, you know, you want to talk down to Amir Khan and you want to fight Amir Khan, but then turn on the other hand and say, well, he's not a true welterweight. He hasn't fought a true welterweight. So, I mean, if you feel that way, that Khan hasn't fought a true welterweight yet and you're at the top of the chain, then don't fight Khan. Go fight if you feel, I mean, that's if he feels that way. I want to see him fight Khan, but uh, go fight Porter, you know, go fight Brooke, who's a champion then. You know, those are other fighters. So why are you adamantly calling out Amir Khan? This, I honestly kind of solidifies my theory that I think Amir Khan is Floyd's next opponent and they know this so of course they're jumping all over Khan and, and immediately calling out Khan maybe trying to lure him away from the Mayweather fight which will never happen but it just seems odd to me you say he's not a true welterweight he hasn't fought a big welterweight and this that and the third yet you want to say you want to fight Amir Khan now Amir Khan is ranked uh, overall number one by the WBC in the welterweight division. So how? Don't ask me. I don't know. But he is. And I guess his defeating of Devin Alexander got him that ranking. So he is uh, basically ranked first to Floyd's title at the WBC at 147. So my theory is I still think uh, Khan and Floyd is going to be happening in September. Uh, I look at Khan and I see how Thurman is calling them out. Thurman has had opportunities in the past, I thought, to fight Khan, but I guess Khan wasn't fully at 147 yet. Khan was throwing shit in the water. So, uh, But this fight could happen now. If Khan does not get the Floyd Mayweather fight, it would be a good fight. Stylistically, uh, they both fighters fought Luis Colazzo. I thought um, Keith Thurman did the most physical damage to Luis Colazzo. However, Amir Khan did the most mental damage to Luis Colazzo. And that's the type of fighters that they both are. So um, if they get in the ring together, it'll be a clash of styles and it'll be probably a, a very, very good fight. So, But I still stick with the theory that Khan is going to be fighting Floyd in September till I see otherwise. And, you know, I gave evidence. Go look in my previous videos for such. Um, but so I like to still see Keith Thurman with any of the top five welterweights. It doesn't change. Um, 
Still criticism about Keith Thurman about his resume, ladies and gentlemen. Beating Luis Calazo does not change that. Um, the fact of the matter is that Keith Thurman hasn't fought a top, what, 5 or 2 weight either. So uh, those questions still remain, you know what I mean? Uh, Sean Porter, he hasn't fought him. He hasn't. He's calling out Khan now. So, you know, I did a video, just got not doing a video about uh, Kell Brook and how Kell Brook's resume is awful thin. And these guys are being pluffed up that they're X, Y, Z, but where's the competition? Uh, so, and it's the same thing for Keith Thurman. I see he's calling out people, and I, and I love his attitude. I love his, his whole attitude about the sport of boxing. I love him as a humble fighter. But still, it's time to step it up. Luis Calazo is a guy who came into this fight with six losses. Uh, he's been on a losing streak. Um, he's he's a former champion. That's many moons ago, ladies and gentlemen. He's an aging champion. He's 34 years old. So, this doesn't show much uh, on, you know, for Keith Thurman. It's the same level as fighting when he fought Leonard Bundu. I don't know how much credit he got for that fight. And it's the same way with this fight. So it's time for him to step it up. Any of the top five world to weights, take your pick. I like to see him fight any of them. Um, of course, uh, if he gets the Floyd fight, it will, you know, he's, he's been Floyd's mandatory for 18, 19 months now. He deserves the Floyd fight. Uh, it will be great if he gets the fight. Um, I don't think there'll be no complaints by no one, including myself. Uh, but I don't know. Going by the, conversation from Leonard Ellaby a couple days ago where he put out into the media that and nobody nobody in Mayweather's camp is thinking about Keith Thurman so that's kind of odd a couple days this this is recent statement from Leonard Ellaby this comes in a string and a slew of statements from the Mayweather camp that they have no interest in fighting Keith Thurman so try to set him up with the Earl Spence thing and all that other jazz so I don't know uh maybe a, they try to I don't know if they're trying to set him up with Sean Porter uh, even though that would be a fantastic fight, you know what I mean? So, But anyway, outside of Mayweather, if he doesn't get Mayweather, there's great fights in the top five of welterweights for Keith Thurman. He needs to take a top five welterweight in his next fight. No ifs, ands, or buts about it because the criticism, the rumblings are rising about the competition level of Keith Thurman. So to the next video with your main man, Mayman. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget I'm on Twitter at Mayman511. Sorry I'm late with this video, but I didn't see it last night. I didn't see it today because I had other obligations. So that's it. So... Peace out.